calculated to be 95 degrees. Remember, the intersection angle is defined as the angle between the extension of the back tangent and the forward tangent. The way we calculated that, and please pay attention because uh, this is a you know, uh, very popular question also. How did I calculate the 95 degrees to be the intersection angle? I am using the, the bearing angles for this case. All right? So uh, try to figure that out. Using the bearing angles, the angle of intersection becomes 95 degrees. Now, uh, going back to slide 25, substitute in that equation, and you should come up with these uh, L is 1326.44. Many of you are giving me that value. Uh, so, and, and some of you are asking uh, about metric units. Yes, uh, as long as you're consistent using metric units, you, can, you could use that. Uh, the, all the angles should remain in terms of degrees, but instead of feet, for example, you could use meters and everything will be cool. All right, now, um, what is the, the, the second uh, question, what is the station of the PC? What is the station of the PC? Now, this is a, also a popular question, kind of a question on the test, all right? Please pay attention. I want everybody to do this. This is really important. Given the information in this problem, can you find the station of the PC? Well, the station of the PC, remember what they gave us. They, they told us what the station of the PI is. So we need to know the station of the PC. Does everyone follow? This is how you do it. You take the station of the PI, which was given, in this case 37 plus 00, and you subtract, pay attention, you subtract the tangent, the length of the tangent from it and in terms of stations, and what you end up with is the station of the PC. All right? And on page 25, we did exactly that. First, you have to calculate the tangent. And in the menu of equations, find the uh, equation for the tangent. Substitute the correct values. The tangent comes out to be 873.05 feet. And, uh, you know, that could be a question on itself, by itself. All right? So uh, find the tangent, and what do we do from that? Uh, subtract the tangent from the station of the PI. The station of the PI is 37 plus 00. zero and, guys, pay very uh, close attention to what I'm about to tell you right now. We are going to subtract the tangent in terms of stations. Now, what is the tangent? Tangent length is 873.05. 873.05. That is in terms of uh, feet. So in terms of stations, what do we have? Well, in terms of stations, that is going to be eight 100-foot complete stations. That gives you the 800. And then the balance is 73.05. So in terms of stations, we express that as eight full 100-foot stations plus the change, which is 73.05. So when you subtract that from 37 plus 00, zero uh, this is what you end up with. All right? PC has a station 28 plus 27. Guys, this is not very difficult, but those of you who don't do this on a daily basis, you may want to practice and understand how to uh, subtract things in terms of stations. All right? And um, Stephen Mar Marzi says, uh, is the PI an imaginary station? Well, it's not so much imaginary, but it is not on the curve. The PI is not on the curve, but it is um, it's not on the curve, but it is a we use it as a reference point. Sh uh, Shanna 
is asking where where does 47.5 come from? Uh, Shanna, 47.5 is uh, I over two. It's I over two, and I showed you on the previous slide. I the intersection angle is 95 degrees, so I over two is uh, half of 95. All right, guys. The next slide is going to the next question is going to ask you what is the station of the uh, PT. What is the station of the PT? This is a very, very high probability that this, this question will be on the test. All right? There's a good probability any one of these questions will be on the test. But this is very popular because i tell you why. Because there is a very common mistake that people make in calculating the station of the PT. And I will share with you what that common mistake is in just a minute. But I, what I want you to do, without looking at the, uh, the screen, without looking at the solution, see if you can come up with the station of the PT. Remember what PT is. PT is the station where the forward tangent ends, uh, uh, yeah, uh, where the forward tangent ends. Or that's the point where the curve ends and we are on the next alignment. So how do you calculate the station of the PT? Do it on your own and tell me. OK. Um, let's take a look at the, uh, the, the solution. Hopefully some of you, at least some of you, have that. And um, Uh, Paul, what you're saying is not correct, and actually that is the common mistake that people make, all right? Um, uh, Ryan, I, I, I think that's, yes, what, yes. Um, all right, uh, let's take a look. Guys, I want everybody's attention here, please, everyone. Whatever you're doing, stop and just listen to me now. There's only one correct way to calculate the station of the PC, all right? And that is to calculate, I'm sorry, there's only one way to calculate the correct station of the PT. That's what we're looking for, PT. Make a note of that in big, big letters. The only correct way is to calculate the length of the curve, L, and add that length of the curve to the station of the PC. In this case, the station of the PC is 28 plus 27. We just calculated that together, all right? I repeat, the only way, the only correct way to calculate the station of the PT is to to take the station of the PC and add to it the actual length of the curve. The actual length of the curve. Of course, we do that in terms of stations. So the station of the PT becomes 28 plus 27 plus 13 plus 26.44. And here it is. The station of the PT will become 41 plus 53.44. Now, Now, let me tell you the common mistake. The common mistake is for people to take the tangent distance, capital T, and add that to the station of the PI. If you do that, that is incorrect. And I guarantee you, the first distractor will be calculated that way because that's a very common mistake. So don't do it that way, all right? And, and please don't start arguing with me why it is so. Just accept it. If, you, if it really bothers you, 
uh, send me an email later. But the only way, the correct way to calculate the station of the PT is to take the station of the PC and add to it the actual length of the curve because the stationing will be done on the actual curve. All right, uh, the next, uh, uh, the next uh, question is, what is the interior angle at the PI? There is an important point here as well also. Don't, don't make a mistake here because they are asking for what's known as the interior angle, all right? Interior angle, write a note to yourself, the interior angle is this angle here. This is the inside angle, the angle between the two tangents, all right? So in this case, would be 180 minus 95, all right? Next one. What is the tangent distance from the PI to the PC? Well, uh, th this, is, this we've already calculated. This, is, this we have already calculated, so this is just what we call t. We had to calculate this for a different part of this problem. Uh, what is the long chord? Now, this is where we calculate or use the equation LC, long chord, all right? Um, and go through all of this to make sure that you get the, the same answer that I have, all right? Now, this one, it says, what is the external distance? Remember, external distance, we use the letter E. And Fahmy was asking, how come there are more than one equations to calculate E? Well, because those relationships have been developed. And really, it's based on what is known, all right? If you look at these three equations, I actually listed all these three equations. We have three, three different equations to calculate the external distance. You can pick the one that you like to use, but really, what, which one you use is governed by, by what you already know. What is the given information, all right? So it, it doesn't matter which one of these you use. Um, just pick one. Now, to demonstrate that all three will give you the same answer, I did use all three, but you do not need to do that on the test. That would be like uh, using the same bird by three stones, using three stones. Don't do that. But uh, just pick one, and the answer would be 384 feet. Now, the, the next question, what is the degree of curvature on the arc basis? So use the equation that I gave you on the arc basis. It comes out to be, degree of curvature comes out to be 7.16 degrees. Then the last, uh, the last question, it says, what is the degree of curvature on the chord basis? Well, to answer this, use the, the equation that gives us that relationship on the chord basis. And if you do it, do it correctly, the degree of curvature comes out to be the same in this case, 7.16 again. Now, tell me, what does this mean? If the degree of curvature uh, based on the chord basis is exactly the same as what you get uh, using the arc basis, what does that tell you about the curve? Yeah, you, you got it. Uh, if, um, if the degree of curvature using the arc basis and the chord basis are the same number, that tells me, uh, no, uh, it's not symmetry. What that means is the, uh, the, uh, the curve is very flat. Lisa, yeah, Lisa got it right. If the degree of curvature is the same, both on the chord basis and the arc basis, that means the, 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 the chord of 100 feet is uh, the same, very, very close to the arc of 100 feet, which means uh, the curve is very, very flat. And of course, guys, if you carry out 
these digits to the right of the decimal point, if you 